in this video i'm going to see how high this drone can go in the air what is the max altitude also what is the top speed on this drone on normal mood and on the sports mood and then at the end i will see how accurate is the auto return to home on this drone i'm going to take off from inside my car through my sunroof i will send it out straight from the car sunroof then at the end we will see if the drone comes back from the sunroof or not all right let's get started all right So first thing which I'm going to see is the max altitude, how high this drone can go. Obviously, this thing can be limited in country to country. All countries, they have different rules. So let's see some settings first. In my settings, I have the max altitude to 120 meters. So this drone should go 120 meters. Another thing also, how high, another thing, how smooth this drone will record the video when it will be on 120 meters. That is also a thing. Yeah, this drone is very lightweight. It is a bit windy outside. So let's see how this drone stays in the air. If I'm gonna see any wind warnings or not. So far going good. my drone is 120 meters up in the air and I don't have any wind warnings even though it's windy outside but the drone is handling pretty nicely and it's stable the video is stable no transmission loss as well I have full transmission even I'm sitting inside the car still I have full transmission So this is the short circle shot on 120 meters in the air. All right, I don't want to keep it that high in the air. I'm going to bring it down and then we're going to move to the second thing, which is the speed test. Let's see how fast is this drone on the normal mood and on the sports mood. Right now, my drone is on normal mood. I'm gonna bring it down about 50 meters is enough to do my test all right 50 meters and let's face it this way so in my settings let's put all the, so all the parameters in the settings I'm gonna push them to the max so here how to set that uh, to set that we have to go to the controls, gain and expo settings and here normal speed right now is already on the max and on the sports mood also is already on the max. Alright, normal mood, I'm gonna push it full throttle. Alright, the speed which I'm getting is meters per second, I'm gonna change it to kilometers so then I'll be able to see everything. Here it is, kilometers. Now let's push it. that's the max I got on the normal mood let's rotate it and push it to sports mood all right now I'm sports mood on sports mood obviously there's no obstacle avoidance that's why I decided to keep it on 50 meters so when I'm gonna fly it on this sports mood it will not affect it will not hit anything all right sports mood
right the second round i'm gonna bring it a little bit more closer so even if it's facing the wind it will not face the wind anymore again on sports mood so the max is hitting is 44 nothing more than that that's the maximum speed i'm getting on sports mood Now, last but not the least, <laughs> now the last thing which I want to see is utter return to home. And this drone is supposed to last, uh, supposed, and this drone, let's see how accurate is, and let's see how accurate this drone is going to come back. It's supposed to come back through the sunroof. I'm going to open my sunroof again. Let's hit the utter return to home, and let's see what this drone will do. Return to home. All right, it's coming back. sunroof is open uh, the landing is a little bit out I will see I will maybe adjust the landing point and see if I can land it through yeah the landing is a little bit out I'm gonna adjust it and there we go should come in All right, here it is. Back inside the car through the car sunroof. This drone is not wider like the Mini 3 or Mini 4 or the Mavic series. Because of its unique design, even if it hits something on the corners, it will not affect anything. As you saw my last video where I was doing the active track and I even crashed this drone. Nothing happened to this drone, not even a single scratch on the drone is neat and clean. So, so the max altitude which we saw was 120 meters. And the drone was pretty stable on that altitude also. The max speed which we saw was around 44-45 kilometers. That is also good for a small tiny drone like this. And then the auto return to home was also not bad at all. It was a little bit out from the exact home point. But it was very close to it. Maybe a few inches out. So I hope you like this video on DJI Neo 2. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.